welcome to the Modern Knits Podcast, episode number nine. My name is Kayla and I am your host on this knitting, crocheting, and making YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. It is Sunday, October 15th, 2023, and I am excited to update you on all of my crafting progress. Um, but first, if you want to follow me elsewhere on the internet, I can be found on Instagram as Vonderknits and on Ravelry as Kayla Vonderknit. With that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I do want to point out that I am wearing my Red Moon sweater, but I made it a t-shirt. Um, this is a pattern by Born and Raised Knits, and I believe that they don't, um, they don't release patterns, write patterns anymore. Um, but I knit this a few years ago, and I did dye the yarn myself um, using food coloring. Um, I dyed it with my daughter when she was younger. So we just have like this really interesting like a variegated purples, blues going on and then a bright yellow for the moons. So uh, I made mine a t-shirt. Um, but yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into finished objects. I have um, three pairs of socks. <gasps> In a cardigan. <laughs> we'll go ahead and start with the cardigan. I forgot to grab it. My son was wearing it um, outside just now. So I uh, yelled for him to bring it in so I could show it off. <laughs> um, but yeah, we will start with the cardigan. Let me show you here. Let's see if I can show you the cardigan on me. Here we go. is a pattern by Yarn Inspirations. It's a free pattern on Ravelry and it is called Kids V-neck Knit Cardigan. It is a pattern that is knit um, bottom up in seams and then, or in panels, and then you seam it all together. Um, and it is knit in the Karen One Pound and in the colorway Sunflower. Um, and then I did add, that's the wrong thing buttons these are buttons I had in a giant like plastic container that I found you can buy like variety button bins from like Michaels or Joann's but yeah so my son picked up the buttons I did knit the largest size which I believe is a 10 um, just so he could wear it for a few years and then yeah the pattern called for a size I think it was a size 7 needle for the ribbing and then a size 8 for the body of the cardigan which I did use but yeah he seems to like it and it's 100% acrylic yarn and when I was knitting it it was feeling very stiff but with a wash and a dry it feels really soft um, and he really likes it he's worn it to school drop off and pick up and he's just been wearing it out in the yard playing so yeah first finished object children's v-net V-neck knit cardigan. It might be kids. V-neck knit cardigan. Yeah. But free pattern on Ravelry. And I have knit the pattern before for my daughter. And I really liked the aesthetic of the cardigan. So first finished object. My second finished object is the... Oh, sorry. Well, I guess it's, they are a pair of socks. So these are the porch light socks. There we go. I was like, campfire socks? That's not right. These are the porch light socks. They're so cute. These are the porch light socks by Larkspur Knits. Um, and the pattern is from the 52 Weeks of Socks book um, that was released by Lane Publishing. Um, and the yarn is Plies and Hellhounds in the Iron Base, which is the Tweed Base, and Warmed Caramel and Violet Femme. And I, oh, look at the little box. It looks really good. I sprayed these and kind of blocked them out. I usually don't block my socks, but this pair I did because there's a wee bit of color work there and then some um, moth lace work. But these socks I knit in a weird way. Um, <laughs> I knit, first of all, I knit a size too big, which is my fault. I was just worried about the color work fitting over my foot. So they're a bit big on me, but they fit my husband perfectly. So he's going to get these. 
but I started knitting them on double pointed needles, US size one. And then when I got to the collar work part, I switched to US size two to 0.75 millimeter nine inch circulars and knit the collar work and then the lace work. And then I switched back to the US size one, 2.25 millimeter double pointed needles. Just because I tried knitting the collar work on the double pointed needles and it was kind of a nightmare. <laughs> and then, yeah, the lace, at that point I was just kind of like, I don't wanna try to do the lace on double pointed needles either. So I didn't, <laughs> I just did them on the nine inch circulars and then switched back. And I did use my Licky, Likey, my Likey Driftwood double pointed needles. <clears throat> pair of socks that are not for me and I'm sad about it <laughs> sorry drink break um, I'm drinking out of a brewmate it holds like a whole bottle of wine but I fill it with water so I'm worried though that I'll get in trouble on YouTube if I show it so my husband bought it for a joke and I actually just drink water out of it so <clears throat> My second finished object is another pair of socks. <laughs> um, these look really good on camera. Wow. So this yarn is by Nomadic Yarns. It is the colorway, not Whirly, it is Camp Nightmare. <laughs> um, and yeah, it is a Goosebumps inspired yarn. And I use the pattern Heel Toe do -si do by Kay of a Crazy Sock Lady podcast. And yeah, I knit the size medium, which is my 64, 64 stitches. And then I changed the ribbing a bit in pattern, but then I just followed the pattern on top of the sock. It's kind of like a chevron wavy pattern. And then the pattern calls for a um, heel flopping gusset. And I did a true afterthought heel where you just cut into the yarn. And I knit these on my US size one, 2.25 millimeter double pointed needles from Knit Picks. But yeah, they're really good. And I finished them in time for Halloween. And I'm very excited for that because I do not have a ton of Halloween socks and that makes me sad. So, very cute. Here's the other, the other sock. Yes, sock pair number two. All right, and then this last pair of socks you've also seen before. These are the Scarlet Witch socks. Um, the yarn's called actually Chaos Magic, but they're inspired by Scarlet Witch. And this was dyed by five burrow yarns. Five burrow yarns. Um, and these are for me as well. <laughs> but yeah, these are just a plain vanilla sock. And I knit these on US size one, 2.25 millimeter, nine inch circulars. I, I believe I did 25 rounds of ribbing because my gauge was a little bit smaller, but 25 rounds of ribbing. And I think I did 50 rounds on the leg. Oh, and then a slip stitch, heel flap, a gusset, down to a toe. These are really, really pretty too. And I like that they're Scarlet Witch themed. She's awesome. and. They also go with the Halloween vibes, so that makes me happy. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty. Dun, dun, dun. And then, these are a new pair of socks that have not been seen. Oh, fuzzies. We have, a, oh, you've seen Lexi, our white Australian Shepherd. She is like blowing her coat right now. <sighs> white hair everywhere. So these socks are the K of a Crazy Socks, Crazy Socks Lady, Crazy Sock Lady um, podcast, her vanilla DK weight sock pattern, uh, which is what I use like 99% of the time for socks. But these are for my husband. So I'm trying to think. It's Madeline Tosh, and the colorway is Life on Mars. 
and it's a really pretty like rusty brown reddish color um megan of a fibromancer podcast was hosting a thick sock weekend challenge <laughs> so the goal was to knit a pair of worsted or dk weight socks in a weekend so i went over to my local yarn store wild fibers and picked up this dk weight madeline tosh and i asked my husband what colorway he wanted and he said i don't know something spooky so it was between this and i think a colorway called uh whiskey barrel but no i liked how this was like reddishy orangey he doesn't have too many reddish orangey socks so it's 100 percent super wash merino and i finished them in the weekend i actually won the prize which is exciting so hooray <laughs> um but yeah they're really good and then the pattern is a free pattern on ravelry and i believe i knit the medium size as well for him which is like 48 stitches so yeah and the way i knit his DK weight socks. I have like how many stitch counts and everything in my phone. It uses like, I have maybe like two grams left. Like it uses the 100 grams like perfectly. So these are so good. And he's really excited to wear these because it's getting chilly here and rainy. Yeah, I'm sorry, someone's coming in. Maybe they're not. Are you guys okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get into new projects, new works in progress. Starting with Halloween socks, of course. Oh, these look so good. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Okay, so these socks are also Nomadic Yarns and it is in the colorway Witch Better Have My Candy. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, look at that. The colors are like this bright, like as it's showing up. But yeah, so I'm doing the heel toe do -si -do pattern again. And I'm like, I'm ready to put the afterthought heel in. <sighs> Sorry about that. Kiddo came in wanted to tell me about their uh, leaf pile that they've made in the yard. But um <laughs> But yeah, so this yarn is so good. I'm ready to put in my true afterthought heel. I have marked it right there. Let me get out the card for this yarn because I can't remember what base I used. But I did use my, oh, here they are. My US size one, 2.25 millimeter double pointed needles from Knit Picks. Um, these are the five inch ones. Yeah, in Caspian wood. Oh, and I have this project in my Wool Enemy number one bag from Knit Picks. Du, 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 du. And here it is again. Dog hair on everything. Here is the, the tag. And it is the trusty sock. I couldn't remember what base it was. But yeah, 462 yards per 100 grams. 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And yeah, so I'm excited to finish those. These should honestly be finished tonight. Um, and I don't know, the gauge is really tight on these. So I don't know what was happening when I cast these on, but I knit them pretty tight. And I knit them one at a time, but the gauge is tight on both of them. So I think I just had a stressful week last week while I was working on these. Um, but I'm excited for those to be finished. Another pair of Halloween socks. Going to be great. Last work in progress. So, this is in my Vonder Knits bag. Isn't it so cute? My sister-in-law had this made for me for Christmas. And it's a pretty nice sized bag. It's really good for like sweaters or um, like big hats or like cows or anything. But yeah, my sweater fits in here fairly well. I think if I had made like a full length sweater, I might need a bigger bag, but uh, I have a cropped in here and it fits perfectly. So this pattern is the Cinnabar Sweater by Maven Crafted. And it was polished a few years ago and I wanted to cast it on when the pattern was first released, but I was working on other stuff, so I didn't. <laughs> but then I picked up some yarn from my local yarn shop at the time. 
um, 614 Knit Studio in, in Columbus. And it's been sitting on my shelf waiting for a project. And then I realized that this was a worsted weight and then the cinnabar sweater also needed a worsted weight. Sorry, the dog is in the front yard. She should not be in the front yard. Give me one minute. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> um, but yeah, so this yarn is the Knit Together Studio, or Stitch Together. You know what, I'm going to find the tag so I don't tell you incorrect information. There we go. It is the Stitch Together Studio, and it is a targy sweater, and it's 100% targy wool, and it's really springy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna send the dog back up. She was so sad. She wanted to come in and <laughs> Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, it's stitched together studio. This is why usually when I podcast, no one's home because it's like like constant <laughs> mom and the dogs are running around crazy. Anyway, but yeah, so it's stitched together. And the great thing about this, it's 616 yards and 250 grams. So when I bought it, it was like in a giant hank. Um, and I had to hand wind it because my yarn winder was not large enough for that. But the colorway is Wino Forever and it's awesome. And the yarn itself is incredibly springy and it's applied tightly and it's awesome and I love it. I've used the same yarn before in a different colorway. Um, but oh my gosh, it's so like springy and bouncy. Like, oh, I love it. It's so good. Anyway. So I did cast on the Cinnabar sweater um, and I'm making the size five, which is a 52 inch bust, finished bust circumference. Yeah, and I'm really far, so. Um, I forgot how quickly worsted weight things work up. This has been like just, I mean, not very long, maybe a week and a half of progress. Yeah, I am making the cropped version. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Do, do, do. The cropped version with the big bell sleeve. I'm loving this bell sleeve. So good. And I am anticipating on this sweater growing, so I knit it right to my um, wrist bone. I am anticipating on it growing during blocking, just because that's the nat like that's the nature of the wool but oh my gosh it's really good I followed the length that was recommended in the pattern for the bottom ribbing and it hits right about here it hits right about my belly button I would say but again I anticipate it growing during blocking um, and I'm on the second sleeve so I mean I think I am like just a few repeats away from binding off and being done with this so I'm gonna try to get another podcast out probably next weekend. Next weekend's my birthday weekend. So <laughs> I, yeah, I would love to have this done by my birthday so I could wear it and then have my spooky socks done by my birthday, which I honestly think they'll be done pretty quickly. So hooray. But yeah, the colorway is so good and the pattern is so good. It has just these beautiful ridges and the texture with the yarn is so good. I can't wait to wear it. Um, I did cast it on using, oh gosh, my Knit Picks Nickel Interchangeable Needles. I want to say I cast it on on my 40 inch um, needle, or er, needle, yeah. It's not the needle, but it's the, um, the, the connector bit. Why can't I find the words? I don't understand. <laughs> what, what is the word? Anyway, so these, and then for sleeves, nine times out of 10, 
I use my Chiagu um, shorties, which is an interchangeable set. <laughs> cord, ah! So yeah, so when I first cast it on, I cast it on using my 40 inch cord with my um, size eight needles. And then for sleeves on my sweaters, again, nine times out of 10, I knit them one at a time and I'm using my shorties. I have my shorties in there. I really like my shorties. It makes the sleeves fly. Also, I don't mind sleeve island. I know a lot of people are like upset when they are knitting sleeves, but I find it to be the perfect like TV knitting. If you're just knitting a basic sleeve, like these have flown by. Um, I think I knit most of one sleeve yesterday while we were watching football. So, love my Chiago shorties. I knit my sleeves on them. I'm really liking this sweater. It's really squishy. It's gonna be super cute with skirts. It's gonna be super cute with my high-waisted jeans that I'm gonna wear it with. Yeah, I'm excited, so. I feel like I flew through that. Maybe it's just because I just had socks that you had seen already. So like, I don't know. Yeah, well I also finished another crochet pumpkin. You probably can't see it. And I didn't bring it down from the counters because I'm short, but it's over here. <laughs> it's just a little orange pumpkin. Um, very similar to the one I showed last week, only it was worsted weight instead of bulky. And I just held it double. Again, it was the um, Knit Picks clove pattern, basically. I think I just doubled how tall I knit it, or crocheted it. But yeah. So yeah, that's all the knitting I've been doing. Um, I guess we can get into life stuff now. Again, water, not wine, I promise promise um so yeah life stuff i picked up neon gods by katie robert from our library i started it yesterday and i'm halfway through it's really good it's a hades and persephone retelling i'm enjoying it um it's a pretty words are failing me it's pretty spicy, so I don't read it around my kids because my daughter can read. And it's not for kids, so it's very adult oriented. So it's a good book though, I'm enjoying it. Um, and I have been baking a lot more, so I haven't been crafting as much because I've been baking. Um, yesterday I made pecan sandies, today, and you can see the bowl, I made um, pumpkin scones and then I made a frosting for them. And then I made a pie last weekend, and then I've been making a lot of soups because it's soup season. So yeah, lots of baking, lots of soups. The kids love to help bake, so that's fun for them too. Um, my husband and I have started watching our scary movies again. Every October, we love to watch through our scary movies, so we do Halloween. Um, not the whole series, but like the usually the first movies in the series. So Halloween, Sleepaway Camp, Friday the 13th. Nightmare on Elm Street. We actually watched The Exorcist for the first time last night. Um, I grew up with a lot of stigma around that movie, but we watched it and it was okay. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be because I had just heard horrible things about it. Um, but we did watch the cable version, which um, has a lot of things like changed or taken out. So yeah, we'll see. I, we might actually get the like, director's cut and rewatch it and see how we feel about them but I I remember I had a lot of questions after I watched it like why did, why did this even happen so anyway yeah I don't know I had a lot of questions I mean it was a, it was a good movie it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be but I also watch scary stuff year round like I watch um ghost adventures year round and I feel like it was pretty like similar to like some of the things that they would act out on that show so mm. But yeah, like, I get it, it's a classic. I would watch it again, but it's not gonna like, it wasn't as mind blowing as I thought it would be. So anyway, um, we're still working our way through Ted Lasso. Um, the scary movies have kind of taken over our nighttime viewing um, after the kids go to bed, so. And yeah, what else have we been up to? <sighs> I think that's about it. I'm really flushed today. Um, we went and we got our yearly vaccinations so i've been a little bit headachy and achy today <laughs> so um we've just been taking it slow and the kids are outside playing in leaves 
and we're just doing a little bit of yard work nothing too crazy because we're both all just we're both just my husband and i both got um our both of our shots yesterday my kids have already received their shots so it was mom and dad's turn to be kind of achy and cranky <laughs> but but yeah i think that's about it um like i said next week is my birthday weekend so i might like i don't know record something fun that we do or <laughs> i'll try to record next week because i guarantee you that this sweater is going to be done in time for me to wear for my birthday and i'm like 99 percent sure the socks will be done too i do have plans to cast on stuff already um i have like I have a cardigan I want to cast on this year for sure, and then a sweater I want to cast on. And then I did just talk to my um, sister, and my niece would love a hand knit sweater. So I'm going to try to get a sweater done for her, as well as a pair of socks for Christmas. I think she would love that. So I have knitting plans already. Everything's lined up. I'm just waiting on finishing the sweater, and then I have a few more like spooky socks that I want to knit before October's over. Anyway, you'll probably see those next episode. I'll get them cast on and start working on them. But yeah, okay. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. Um, it's just, it's been nice to update you all on my knitting and my crafting and my baking. And yeah, but if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to leave it below. I know I kind of flew through like my finished objects, but that's because I showed them in the last podcast. So the only thing you didn't see other than my works in progress, I think were the um the dk weight socks but yeah all right well thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today it was great to chat with you all and make sure that you are taking care of yourselves and taking care of each other bye